Oh, nobody named Phil came on. Let me figure out where I'm going to put Jane. Um, we may we may want to plead with one of you guys or some of you guys because we're getting we're getting there in the morning and I guess check in on Wednesday, but check in is until later if we can sort of just throw our bags yeah, into one of, the, one of your rooms or something. Just like find that. one of us. Uh, the, you the, can also ask for early check in. Well, you could like call them now and ask them if you can have early check in. Or you just shove you them just in the really hey, hey, I want to. That's really early. Oh, the, the website you, says call, web call early them. check in may be available but cannot be guaranteed. Just yeah. just shove them in somebody's room. That's what we usually do because then, yeah. then you don't have to worry about the expense. And Carl's going to be there, Richard Saunders, myself, and um, Heather Sterling. We'll be there on Tuesday. Wendy and Heather, are you going to be there Tuesday? Wendy yes. and Heather will be there. So does, does Sterling really exist? Uh, is he a real find person? Out. You will find and out. Wow. The question wow. is not whether Sterling exists. The question is whether Sterling and Caspian are actually yeah. different people or a Jekyll and Hyde implementation of the same person. We, try to, try, seen, you try to pull Sterling's mask off and you'll find Caspian. Well, I've seen, seen them both. In the same place yeah, Jane, you're just in Jane on the has seen them both. Letter. Jane, I've seen them both. Yeah, yeah. I Better guess I've seen, seen I've seen them both at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I've seen them in the yeah. same room. Mm -hmm. Wow, same room. And, same and you know what? One's a lot taller, so they're different. So, oh, Ellen, what? when are you getting in? I'm oh, sorry. When are you getting into uh, Vegas? Who? Um, I think we come in something before noon. I think um, okay. it's eleven. Or yeah, I won't. Put, I'm put not yourself on that yet. list on Psycon. There's a drop down thing that's got like a list of people. Oh, Ron, you, you told me about that. I think uh, Ron or, or no, Avi, told Avi told me. So you can talk to your son. All right. Well, I'll let him anyway, it, that way you can meet up at the airport and then just take one hmm. thing, and then you could shove your stuff wherever. Okay. So, let's so why why is Avi the only Steiner who's coming with me to Penn and Teller? Because we're going the only to one see, that's uh, cool. We are going to see the uh, the uh, the ladies are not that interested, and uh, and my little brother is not so much interested either. So we're going to go see. Um, we're going to see. Uh, uh, what is Mister. it? Mister's good. Yeah, um, we, um, we were going to go see O, but it's too too damn expensive. So we're going to Mister's oh, instead. They're, they're all good. Yeah. All right, we ready? All the all the circs are good. Okay. Yeah. So. Let's find out what's going on because you know there has been nothing happening in the news lately. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. So I don't know how you guys could possibly come up with anything of interest. Uh, these are going to be the most boring names ever. I just know it. So, Carolyn, you know it. Jamie, Kat, Ron, and you will have Jane. What is your name tonight? James Earl Jones's last breath consists of carbon dioxide. Oh. Remember he was dark. He was Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, that yeah. hurts. Who you should have heard thought? the ones that didn't make the cut. Oh. I heard from a few. I heard from uh, <laughs> Rob. I think put he put. He's the one that. Here's how you notify somebody on Facebook that there's been a death. It's who mentioned James Earl Jones on, on <laughs> That's what I did, yeah. That's how we know somebody just died. Yep. Like oh. All right, mm -hmm. team number two, Avi, Leonard, Peggy, and Wendy. There is something on our minds. You'll, you'll notice uh, that each uh, of us has something on our mind. Chat. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Alan, Carl, Lee, Leonard Rob, had and Vincent. Uh, let me put it in chat. <laughs> we have a concept. Hey. Plan for yep. a name. I'm shocked uh, only one of you guys has come up with that so far. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, that don't sounds team two, don't familiar. forget to put it in the chat. I don't see anything in the chat. I'm sorry. Doing, I, I, I was did put it in the chat. Avi, please in chatify it. All right. Ben, oh, I think I just, I just sent it to, to Faith and, and Romero. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not psychic. Okay. Ben, uh, Faith, and Romero, Celia, and Gail. Oops. <laughs> concept of a plan i'm not president yet <laughs> brilliant uh, minds sorry I, I got out of order say it again i've um concept of a plan i'm not president yet no i'm not president now 
Okay, put it in the chat. <laughs> and let me, yeah, I, I did earlier, but let me do it again. Okay, then I see that somebody else did come up with anything. <laughs> yeah, All right, so we have four teams fun. vying for the competition to be the ruler of game number 232. They want to take home the trophy, the giant imaginary trophy of September 12th. 2024, 2024. And we have, what is Noe? That was a typo. <laughs> it's supposed to be now. Let me do it again. <laughs> okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I can, I can make now. Oh, uh, no, actually, I don't remember. Did he Noe. actually say, did he say now or did he say yet? Now. He said now. Because he was president before, before he said now. I'm surprised so. he didn't say yet. So for team for game number 235 thir, 232 Great. in season yeah. 5 we have four teams vying for competition in the in the role of winning the tro imaginary trophy for 232 and the team names are James Earl Jones last breath consisted of carbon dark side Oh, too soon. Too soon. Versus, very too soon. There's something <laughs> on our minds versus we have a concept of a plan for a name versus concept of a plan. I'm not president now. Oh, that's funny. All right. So I want you to know that we're going to do it. We thought everyone was going to talk about cats and dogs. I I was, yeah, I'm surprised I, nobody came up. There's two many choices. So I um, was going to put something and then they said, no, they didn't. Everyone will have that. I was like, okay. <laughs> so don't forget, uh, we have a game on Saturday and this is not, um, we're not losing a game. I'm gaining a game. So Saturday at 11 o'clock Pacific time, I'm going to do a, a cat. I'm going to do a game. Either I'm going to come up with four volunteers or I'm just going to pick four old categories we haven't done i think i should just do four categories that we haven't done because i kind of there's a lot and i don't want you guys to use your best stuff up on stuff for this so if you'd like to are have, you somehow advertising like, it to people who could play in europe i have the link i put out and i sent it to people and i don't know so have you gotten responses i don't know <laughs> <laughs> well have people said they're interested I will not be able to go. So okay. Is it the same link? The, it's the same link. Tonight? It's the it's same. It's gonna be September the 14th, right? So let's let me just take a glance. Okay. We have four going, and the four people who are going are Jane, Kat, Karen, and myself. And there right. are eight in interested. So I I'm, will we'll put it you, out here. You I'm can gonna sign me up for going. Okay, so we have five. So we have one person in each team. Okay. I'm interested officially, okay. but going yeah. unofficially. Okay. <laughs> so it would be, okay. it would start 12 o'clock my time then? Yeah, that's right. So 11, okay. Saturday. All right. Just because yeah, I'm planning right. to come too soon. <laughs> okay. Join us. Okay, so I'm sharing it right now. So you'll see the link. It says, if you put social trivia by Susan and it should pull up, September 14th. Okay. So that's done. Don't let me forget. We have some birthdays we have to celebrate. Nobody better drop out of this thing before they get sung to. Sorry. So, all right. I hear some giggling from, from somebody. All right, here we go. So the people who are playing tonight who are team leaders are four people. Carolyn, who's starting off. Carolyn, you do know you're doing the category, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Peggy, you're next. Carl, you're after that. And bonus is Celia. The following week, not the not the Saturday, the following week I have Gail and I have Rob and I need one more and a bonus. So keep that in mind. No hurry. Just need to have that filled before tonight. Yeah. I'll go. You want to do a category next week? Yeah. Okay. Vincent. Or do you want bonus? No, I can't do bonus. No. Okay. All right, so I'll just need a bonus for next week. All right, so everybody Bye. should have the permissions. I believe the only person who didn't have her permissions was Celia. Let me see if I gave it to you. Did I give it to you? Uh, oh, you do now. There you go. Yes, now. Okay, so here we go. Carolyn, you be up. Okay. You up, Carolyn? I'm up. <laughs> it's not even 7 o'clock. Wow. Can you what? imagine? So um, this might be easier than you wanted, but I hope it'll be fun. 
So this is a hodgepodge with a mystery theme. Okay. Oh, those are fun. So. Okay. Number one. The Blank Mountains are part of the Rocky Mountains and are located on the west side of the Wood River Valley in Idaho within the Sawtooth National Forest. Number two. Well, that's weird. Okay. Anyway, this type of ink, I don't know why there's a big old blink there, but this type of ink compared to other inks is noted for a for its deep, rich black color. It is a simple black or colored ink once widely used for writing and printing and now more common for drawing. Used more common for drawing. Why is there an I in front of it? It's a one. It I don't know. It's it did but weird it's things. One. It's or doing weird. Eye, yeah. You know, I did the Roman numeral thing again. Uh, and this time it's not working. That's why. A, I figured type, it out. They're they're, they're, they're it, like a type yeah. of ink or a, a brand. It's a type of ink, type. Okay. not a brand. Okay. Okay. This is three, and then it's doing weird crap. Sorry. These are white markings on a horse's leg that specifically extends higher than the fetlock, but not as high as the knee or hock. Number four, I hope, because... Thank you, Susan. This English name for a type of lily applied to multiple sp species of lilies is widely planted as an ornamental because of its showy orange and black flowers. Number five. Why are you doing this? I don't like you. It doesn't like you either. I know. <laughs> I get that a Never. lot. I'm used to it. These type of seabirds are small elks that feed primarily by diving in the water. They have predominantly black or black and white plumage and large beaks that are brightly colored in the breeding season. They breed in large colonies on coastal cliffs or offshore islands, nesting in crevices among rocks or in burrows in the so soil. Mm -hmm. The song, first written in 1859, is about the southern United States and is one of the most distinctly southern musical product, products of the 19th century. It originated in the minstrel shows and was adopted as a de facto national anthem of the Confederacy. Kevin, I'll send over the first, uh, it's a mystery category and um carolyn's doing it so i'll give you the first six questions that just came up send them over to your private okay carolyn you're right yeah okay uh, i was just trying to put the number in there so number seven these orchids commonly known as lady blank are characterized by the shape of the pouches of the flowers that trap insects. So they are forced to climb up past the staminode, I hope I said that right, to collect or deposit pollen to fertilize the flower. Number eight. Blank the Crow is a 1922 children's book by conservationist Thornton Burgess about a crow who has very sharp eyes and gets into trouble because he sees things he shouldn't. The book is described as filled with gentle humor and important lessons about nature and wildlife. Oh, 
Knock it off. No, no, no. It's something else. I, I figured one of them. I have one. Okay. <laughs> Everybody will have the same one. I just, for the moment, I'm excited. I know one. Number nine. In this fantasy movie from 1988, an evil sorceress hears a prophecy that a child with a special birthmark will bring down her downfall. When the baby is born, it is sent adrift and found downriver by the children of an aspiring sorcerer. And there is a bonus question, but first let me get 10. Okay. One popular Rodgers and Hammerstein music musical set in what was then blank is based on a 1944 novel by Margaret Landon. So before I put the bonus in, I'm just going to say I want the the answers need to be correct so they fit the um the category. That, that makes sense. So the spelling, yes, I'm going to be I'm going to be picky. Okay. And just the bonus is pretty simple. What do all these answers have in common and you must be specific? Any questions? Are there any answers? No. Yes, they await <laughs> us in our breakout rooms. Okay, so go to breakout rooms and just open all rooms, right? Right, and I'll put uh, Kevin. I think it's the only one I have to put Okey on. The dokey. No, Jane and Kevin. Okay, so Jane, you're going to one. And Kevin, you're going to go to. Five, four, I mean. We you have five, five teams? Anymore. No, four. I had to count people. I just saw the last one. I'm just so used to five. Oh, I got to go to my team. What am I doing standing right here? It's not seven o'clock. Admit to. Hello, my team. Hello, team. So let's hear it, Kat. The coastal mountains. Oh. Excellent. Does that, does that give us the theme now? I have no idea what the theme is. No, not yet. <clears throat> I think I know like six or seven answers, and I don't know what the wow. theme is. And number two, I know why. Number two, can number two be India Inc.? It's the yes. only kind I know of. When it's my turn, when we get to the one I know, I want to say it, okay? Because that that might be the only answer I come up with all night. Is it number three? No. Oh, what is that? Anyone know? Do you know number three, Kat? No. I was going to say, I, I hope I'm on Deborah's team. <laughs> Deborah knows her horse stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to feed the beast, keep talking. I have ideas for four, five, six, and seven. I'll be right, right back. Well, let's jump to four. <laughs> Come on, beast. Look, you've got food in your dish. Okay, okay, and a lily that is showy orange and black. I mean, I know day lilies, calla lilies. It's not a calla lily. They're white. Um, day lilies can be orange. I know that. I don't know what they are. I, don't, I can't picture a day lily. Yeah, we have a bunch of them out at the end of the driveway. Right now, mm -hmm. they're black, but that's because it's dark. <laughs> well, then, could it be a day lily? <laughs> well, let's see what fits the theme. Let's see what else we come up with. No. Okay, okay. number four. Yeah, what do you have for four? Oh, what's number four? I think it's tiger. Oh, I forgot. Oh, tiger. Tiger. Oh, that makes sense. That makes orange and black. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to see an orange, orange theme mm -hmm. coming up here. So, so what's up with tiger? Oh, never mind. Because she uses the word orange a couple times. Mm. Seabird? It's not a seagull, is it? Puffin. I was wondering oh. if it's puffins, but puffins again, I'm dive? not sure. Huh? Puffins dive into the water. Yeah. Oh. We saw them in Iceland. But they're just on the sitting on the cliffs. Now we see them in Nova Scotia. They're flying all over the place, diving. Yeah. Oh. They're, they're, they're neat. Oh, I have that. an idea for six. So do I. What's your uh, idea? Uh, well, I think I don't know if the name of the song is 
this, but I was going to say Dixie. That's you know. what I have. Wish I was in Dixie away. Mm -hmm. away. I think Dixie is the song name. That's what I think. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> right. A de facto, yeah, D-I-X-I-E. Mm -hmm. Okay, number seven's the one I think I know. Okay, what do you think it is? Fingers. Fingers? Fingers? Lady oh, fingers. really? Lady fingers? Could it be? I Come thought it was Barbara. lady slippers. Ooh, that oh, lady slippers. Oh, yeah. The only lady fingers I know of are cookies, but oh cookies yeah, okay, did. you're right. I don't know my orchids, so. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, so I think you're probably right. Slippers. Let me put slippers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes. Anyone sense. figured out the theme yet? Nope. <clears throat> I do not. She says it's going to be easy too. Yeah, this might be too easy. The only other one I have a guess for is number 10. So, okay, oh, go blank the go crow. Do you want to throw 10 at us? Just I think it's Oklahoma, isn't it? That was going to be my guess, <laughs> but. Oklahoma. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you why did none say, of these are said in what was then something? Okay, here's the theme all the answers are one word. <laughs> uh, true uh, just a second why does it say said in what was then what was the territory of oklahoma at the time yeah it's different it uh, wasn't the state of oklahoma it was oh okay yeah because okay. it's all in about oklahoma movie, becoming a state evil sources here's a mm. carolyn we figured out the theme it's all the answers are one word <laughs> I know. Don't be stunned. Well, that's not true, actually. And, all and the answers are sure, different words. Make sure you read the question and make sure that if it's plural, that the answer is plural. Okay? Okay. Same, because I'm being picky. Okay. That really messes up most of our answers, then. She did okay. say something about spelling has to be correct. Yeah. Oh, here goes Jeanine. Oh. Spelling, I won't be as picky, but I'm if, it's a, in if, the, if I'm asking people. for more than one thing, you know, if it's a plural, it needs to be plural. Otherwise, it doesn't. Yeah. Janine might know the horse question. Does that make sense? Yes, uh -huh. it makes sense. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's let Janine. not going to take foot if it's feet. Ah. Uh huh. Blank the crawl. Mm -hmm. See, hey, the crow one's throwing me because I have lots of crow friends. Hey, muscle, it's a mystery Carol. theme by Carolyn. Oh, so and Janine theme. also knows children's literature. So, yeah. she'll know so Janine, one. it's all. So, it's all up to Janine it's a mystery now. mystery theme. And she's going to be very particular about spelling and making sure if it's if it's a plural word or whatever. So, you can look at the questions there on the. And what we suspect, and we don't have it. We still haven't figured out the theme. Yeah, and we need answers for three. Do you know anything about horses? She knows about horses. Yeah, she'll know three and eight. You're in charge of those two, Janine. And you're muted. She's concentrating. I'm concentrating. I can't listen to myself talk if I'm concentrating. Okay. Which ones am I going to know? Three and eight. Oh. All of them. White markings on a, a horse story. I don't know a horse story. Oh, that, oh, specifically extends higher than the. How the hell would I know anything about horses? Because <laughs> you're, you're the closest to you're Deborah far, than we have. You're the closest, you're, you're the farmiest the, person on our team. Right. What's the other one that I should know? Eight. Eight. And you think it's Cheryl the Crow? Is she a singer? Yes. Yeah. I name all my crows after famous crows. Yeah. So I have Russell. I have Cheryl. Oh. I don't know this book. So oh, I, I named, I named my crow. 19, it's a 1922 I book. Do. 
Is it By Carol? Yeah. Is there a, is Joe, there a Carol? Joe the Crow? I don't know. I guess we got to come up with the theme, you guys. We we named we named our I named my crow after what he said. Okay, coastal Indian tiger puffin Dixie slippers Oklahoma. Ring a bell. Wait, oh, is that Should the Wizard we of say Oz? Oklahoma Territory. Well, she only gave us one one line. Well, no, I don't think that matters. But yeah, actually, it is actually Oklahoma Territory. Who's well, the category? Who said and what was it's there? Carolyn. Oklahoma Territory. Oh, Carolyn. Okay, so let me read these back again. Coastal, Indian, Tiger. In, India. Wait a minute. India. What, 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 what's coastal for the mountains, part of the Rocky Mountains? Yeah. Cat Talk said to... it. Talk to Cat. Is it wrong? I, how? I don't think. Maybe. Oh. Oh, it says sawtooth. I was gonna say maybe the sawtooth. Um, coastal mountains. Idaho is so far away. We're gonna have a whole day's drive before we get there tomorrow. Okay, so what's the answer? I don't know what these mountains are part of the. Rocky okay, I'm gonna take coastal out of there. So I'm gonna read this again. Well, we're leaving coastal until we hear something better. And they're not. Okay. It's not Indian Spain because. Okay, okay. Indian, tiger, puffin. Dixie, Slippers, Oklahoma. Because we need to have those to, so we can jog our memory to what with the. And the only theme I had was from four and five because they're mascots of cereals, but it doesn't work for anything else. And I was going something Wizard what of What cereal Oz. has Puffin? Yeah, I was thinking Wizard of Oz. Puffin cereal. Slippers, Ooh. but that, that doesn't fit anything. What are those mountains up there? Coeur d'Alene? Yeah. Yeah. They're like, uh, you know, what do you call them? The, not like the themes of cereals. Yeah. Um, the mascots. 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 Yeah. yeah. Oklahoma? Oh, how are we? How are we doing? Well, the tiger works because of the tiger. Well, Tony I haven't the tiger. Had time. Yeah. We but haven't had time to read them yet. Hello. If, How's everybody if, else doing, Carolyn? Because we're not, we're not, we're one not. One person, uh, one team's done. A couple said they needed a little bit more time, but they said they could have more time, and they're still not going to get it. So <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what we're we're about to have a brainwave, and Janine just got here, so I just got here, so I haven't had a chance to read. It. Give us a couple more minutes, besides before you hit the. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe Indian. two minutes, and then close, and then we'll have like four minutes. Tiger to burn through this. I don't think it's cereals. Uh, but none of the other ones fit into it. That's yeah, uh, Dixie or I don't think we're that wrong with everything else. Uh, yeah, we'd have to be really off. I do know there was a Joe the Crow, but I don't know whether it's that I don't know that book. Well, it is now officially Joe until we hear something else. I would just like to mention that but a couple I knew weeks ago, I thought it was going to be hard, and I got a bunch of tens, and this one I thought was going to be easy. Yeah, I know, I was saying, I just like, it be I don't know. Do me a favor, Carolyn, don't predict the uh, election, okay. please. <laughs> I will not. I won't. Okay, let me think. Although I did call it, I... Jane, I, did you get time. nine? Oh, the last one you got? Uh, no. I have no idea what it is. It's about a movie. I know, but I think it might be animated or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't know. I know the plot of that movie, and I cannot remember that. It's movie? not the Dark Crystal, is it? It could be. If if it's a fantasy movie, I wouldn't know it. Yeah. That well, let's. That's a no, good... There's no evil sorceress in that one that I remember. In '88, it's not like uh, Frozen or anything like that. So. No, it's way before that. Or um, Rumpelstiltskin or Shrek. Okay, come on, you guys. We should be able to do this theme. This is can't be can't be that obscure. She said somebody else has already come up with it. Yeah, that team has Carl. <laughs> oh, come on now, he's not See? that <laughs> Indian Tiger. 
Uh, I, you know, kind of number one, I guarantee is not coastal. Well, it give could us something. Be the North Cas it could be the North Cascades, but the North Cascades are really in Washington. I don't think they're that far east, but they're pretty close. There's still could it be the Cascades? No. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh North oh wait. North North Cascade. No, because the Cascades you have the Rocky Mountains, you have the Cascades, and then you have the coast. The coast is what I look at right out my window. So that's the coast range out here. So it definitely is not that. A Cascade would be getting closer. It could be Coeur d'Alene. She did say she was particular about the spelling. So that sounds like a word that would need to be spelled, right? Well, okay. Yeah. Let me... so how do you spell it? I don't know. Here's, I here's where I'm going to be picking with... with spelling. If I'm asking for a plural, if the question is asking for plural answer, make sure it's plural. The rest of the word, you don't care about the spelling. Well, I mean, it, within reason. I mean, within you reason, don't yeah. mix up a completely different word, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we want to go with Coeur d'Alene? Woodland, I would go. I that's close. So why would why would the plural mean? So no, no, no. Much? What are you spelling? Not porcelain. Por <laughs> not porcelain. Anybody know French? I would assume. Okay. I don't know how to spell it'd be, it'd be Coeur d'Alene would be like. Oh, with, -E oh it's Coeur, Coeur d'Alene as in the town. And then it's it's like like C O E U R D O U R. It'd be C D apostrophe A L. E N E. Okay, I've got, yeah, I got, I've got something it's I want to say. It's on more the seven, more than the mountain. But I just couldn't hear what you're saying. Seven, yes, question seven. Okay, the answer is slipper, right? Yeah. Okay, it's not slipper. And she's mm -hmm. being very emphatic about things having to have a plural if the question calls for plural. Well, they're and called lady it, slippers with an S. So Right, yeah. so why is that so important to the theme? That the word has to be slippers and not slipper. So, or like I say, feet, not foot. But where do we use the word feet? Well, I, maybe plural doesn't three. necessarily mean adding an S, right? Okay, but yeah. slipper, it's just the plural form so, of it. So, the only one that we have so far is slippers that would be plural, unless we're talking about these mountains. Oh, puffins. Puffins is plural too. Puffins is plural, but who? Uh, who the hell knows what number three is? I'm sure number three is going to be plural too. Well, okay, but they're the white thing, markings. What I'm trying right? to say is the word sippers is very important to the theme. And it's not slipper, it is slippers. So what could be what what are we positive about? What else are we positive about? Slippers? Can I hit the two minutes now? Yeah, go ahead. Might as well. Slippers and what else are we? What are we solid on, you guys? I'm I questioning my entire existence. Right now. Tiger, tiger lily. lilies. Okay, India, so tiger India. looks. Okay, it's not tigers. It's tiger. It's definitely singular. Okay, so tiger and slippers. What do they have in common? Maybe the Wizard of Oz. That's what I keep thinking is they but were in the how would it fit? And I, I bet tiger, yeah, that doesn't fit. Oklahoma does. Slippers, we of course. We have to have a lot wrong. I remember uh, those puffins in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched it. Uh, um, what else is, um, is okay, that's it. Nine, Willow? it is Wizard of Oz, that's it. How? Well, several of the answers fit, so that must be it. So okay, we could, say, put Wizard of Oz for the retrofit. bonus. Okay, is number nine Willow? Back up. A Joe up does. To the sawtooth. Yeah, number Willow? nine could be. It could be Willow. Willow. Okay. I don't know how it fits with Wizard of Oz. But... I don't know either. I don't know how Puffins and Dixie fit into uh, Wizard Lane of Oz either. either. Monkeys. How did Joe fit? Yeah. No, it doesn't work. Ford Lane doesn't yeah. fit, but I think like, what the hell. Elsa's. We're going to score like a two on this. And mm -hmm. sorry, Carolyn. We're going down fighting. Let's see. Somebody make up a name of a mark on a horse. So Toto's. I bet Clippers is we'll wrong. We'll call them Toto's. 
uh, we can with... say wizard. Let's say Wizard of Oz for number seven uh, for the bonus. Right. Okay. Yeah, I got that down there. I put so Fetlocks the for number the three. Wicked Witch of the West or something. The West East. It's possible. There's like a small West Side range of the Could they be the West Valley, Mountains? but it's higher it's than the Fetlock. Is okay. Kansas? Is it? Uh, seconds, or no, I've been Hamhawk. Could there be a West on Kansas on one? At East Mountains? Hurry, hurry, hurry. But which one where? East or Mountains? West Mountains? I said Kansas. Kansas Mountain? Hey, Team One. On that question, uh, on that that question, not question easy. you better come up with an answer because you guys yeah. are all shouting the different answers. That yeah. was not easy. Hurry up before she gives the answer. Somebody, somebody message Ron. For which one? One. As oh, we were leaving the room, which, everybody which, was shouting a different answer. Uh, I know. So I left what we I had on before. I find him. <coughs> oh. Here we go. Okay. All right, Wait Carolyn. a second. Give me a minute. <coughs> that was hard, Carolyn. <laughs> you are cruel. You are I, cruel. You know, you, that was not usually easy. every it's usually it's the other way around. And so I'm very surprised. So sorry. Okay. Janine, Janine, <laughs> Janine, did you have plum plum pudding for Number us? Spicy Wait. plum sauce. Number one. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. The Smoky Mountains. We didn't even guess uh, that. That wasn't even on our radar. Number two. <laughs> I think I think most people got this India type of. I said it was something not the sawtooth. So India ink. Are you India chat number three. Yeah, I will. Yeah. She'll put them. Okay. She probably doesn't want them because she's gonna give away the mystery. Okay. okay. Number three, uh, socks are the white markings. Ugh. So there's oh, different white markings, you, like there's stockings. Yeah, there's there's different ones, but. Look this is specifically from. I, I know what the category is now. Okay, smoky India socks. Yeah, I know. I the category number four. This type of lily is a tiger lily. I think these are presidential pets, maybe. Number five. <laughs> puffins are these type okay, of birds. puffins. With an number number six. This song is. You Dixie. mentioned. Wait a minute. You mentioned about plural and not plural. Is that puffin or puffins? Puffins. So the, the oh. answer has to be plural. Puppins. Yes. All right. These types. <laughs> we missed one. Okay. We missed in and India. Number was six. Indian. It's, it's India. India. No, it's India. Ink. India. Ink. Okay. I've painted with it. It's clearly India ink. Okay. Can I? Yeah. Number go ahead. six is Dixie. Number seven. Uh, these orchids, commonly known as lady slippers. Number eight, Blackie the Crow. Oh. Number nine, Willow. That Blackie. Hey, oh, Willow. Willow. Number Pack that ten. in at the end. Good job. Number ten is Siam. What was number oh. nine? Because it was the king and I. Number nine is oh. Willow. Okay. Number ten is Siam. And what was six? Kamala Harris has a dog named Oklahoma oh, Territory. Yeah. I am. What was number six? <laughs> six is Dixie. Dixie. Okay. So what do they all have in common? In presidential pets. And no, oh no, I'm being very no, no, no. What is it more for specific than that? Presidential cats. Thank yeah, for, you. Oh, for number no. one, can you provide Pops. the information about the Smoky Mountain range? Because the Great Smoky Mountains are in North Carolina, and I yeah. got, no. I just tried to look Virginia, this up, and I couldn't Virginia find. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is really I, clever, yeah. Carolyn. Puffins. Someone has a, a cat named okay. Puffins? That's hilarious. <laughs> Well, have you, I thought this was the menu in Springfield. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> All cats yeah. not eaten by immigrants. That's right. It's a barbecue. Oh. Waiting to happen. Oh, do you, do you clever, care who's Alan. belonged to who or, or not? Because that's well, socks was Bill Clinton's, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. the only one I would know. Willow um, is Biden. Oh. Oh, oh I um, know that. Blackie was Calvin Coolidge. He actually had three. Dixie is Lincoln's. 
George W. Yeah. Bush had India. Woodrow Wilson had Puffins. I really like that name. Rutherford B. Hayes had Siam. Teddy Roosevelt had Slippers. Nice. Calvin Coolidge, again, had Smokey. Clinton had Socks. Uh, Calvin Coolidge, again, had Tiger. Whoa. So, yeah. That was clever. I, I don't know. So, who I, had I the... Um, wait, wait. Who had the... Um, hmm. Oh, shoot. Lincoln had a cat named Dixie. That's yeah, he hilarious. had two cats. One was named Dixie. Well, and one was named wife Dixie. Was Confederate. That is really funny. It was probably a black cat, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. What was the name of his other cat? I don't remember. Oh, Honky. This and, Honky. You know, Mason. Dinner. Okay. You guys stop with the eating cats. That's not right. Whitey could have been Whitey. That, that is the, Whitey. That was a satisfying added answer. I mean, that was hard as heck. Did anybody yeah. in the world get that bonus? No yeah. one. Yeah. But do you know what uh, we, we, it, we were really? thinking that the that, that the answers all started with the letter S. Yeah. yeah, but they did. Well, we knew that was Wizard stupid. of Oz related somehow. The that other was stupid. Cats, stupid stuff. Other cat's name was Fatty. <laughs> well, I thought that initially I thought the category was was Thank animals, you, Kevin. and that all the all the answers <laughs> would be a type of animal. But then that quickly. I apologize to whoever was on that team, but. <laughs> Stupid stats. Wow. Related. Okay, let's do our scores. That was that was that was cats. Cats. A great category. That's a great category. Yeah. yeah, a really good. I category. had two of them just by guesses, and we talked ourselves out of Blackie. That was the first thing I said. Blackie the Crow. By the way, Dix Dixie was Lincoln's favorite song too. Just for what it's worth. Oh, wow. ironic. Such a peacemaker. Well, it was Carolyn. I love his background. The, the, the best different time he Lincoln <laughs> adored. All right, so let's get to our scores. Um, concept of a plan. I'm not president now. That's team four. Uh, yeah. Seven. Wow, seven. Concept of a plan. Good work. Hey, what's going on with the scores over here? That doesn't look right. You're not sharing it, so I know what you're talking about. Well, there's something wrong with the scores. Okay. We have a concept of a plan for a name. We got ten. Oh my oh. god. Okay. There's something, on, there's something on our minds. Five. And but Carolyn's they... own team, Jamer, James Earl Jones' last breath consisted of carbon dark side. <laughs> Somehow we got six. Oh. I don't know how we did that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So average is seven. I'm shocked. Me too, honestly. Oh, me shocked. <laughs> yeah, Rob, right. it's not, it's, it's. Keep... Uh, so you, you forgot how to properly copy it to the next week, apparently. I'll go, I'll go look at the break and fix it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shoes. Shoes. <laughs> Shoes. Good job, Carolyn. Okay. Peggy, my dear. UBS. Well, I'm sorry to follow the cat act because that was good. That was actually a good category. I liked it. Really good. Yeah. So tonight we have nobody expects the Spanish. You know what? <laughs> oh, flu? the flu, Spanish flu. I don't know what that means. Shh. You might give away the answers. Shh, shh, shh. I'm going to put two in at a time. We'll try that and see how we do. <clears throat> <clears throat> Paste. There we go. And I've written out the number, so it, hopefully that will foil whatever evil. They'll oh, figure it out. Now. Zoom's going to figure it out and find a way of messing with us. So number one is, in what year was the Spanish Inquisition established? Plus or minus five years. And basically it was to ensure that individuals who had converted to Catholicism did not revert. And that means it was all anti-Semitic from the get-go. But then they talked a lot about witches, too, so it was totally witches. <laughs> a faint. Number two, in what year was the Spanish Inquisition finally abolished after earlier attempts to do so had led to its reinstatement? And that is a plus or minus five years. You were cruel. <laughs> I am. She, she's a pirate, you guys. 
I mean, what can I do? If I'm a pirate. You got got to be a pirate, right? Okay, now we've got a few more (laughs) questions. Number three, what term is used to describe an Inquisition period prior to the Spanish Inquisition, which was established in 1184, primarily in southern France and northern Italy? Number four, according to modern estimates, as cited in Wikipedia, how many yeah. people were prosecuted for offenses during the duration of the Spanish Inquisition? And this is plus or minus 20,000. Oh, There's a hint right there. Um, number wow. five, what sharp torture instrument, the name of which has also been used as a video game title, here's a big hint, was used by strapping it around the victim's neck and having one end under the chin and the other on the sternum. Oh, what a thought. And now we will go. I mean, I think I can throw three more in. Six, seven, and eight. We'll see if these all fit. I think they will. I think they will. And you're going to do a PowerPoint to show us what that looks like, right? The only That's the only reason one needs to do this. <laughs> God. Showing you the torture instrument. This is cruel. One, two, three. Where am I? Five, six. Oh, I think we're on six, right? Is that right? Six, okay. Yes. Yeah. Who is the Grand Inquisitor of the Spanish Inquisition, whose name has become synonymous with cruelty, intolerance, and fanaticism? Number seven, the Green Standard of the Spanish Inquisition, which was carried in a procession to the auto de fe, the ritual of public penance, and displayed at trials, has three symbols on it. It has an olive branch, a sword, and what else? A spaceship. Perhaps. A cat. Num- number eight, what well-known, on the West Coast at least, Franciscan missionary to the New World, was appointed an inquisitor for a region in New Spain, Mexico, and denounced several Christian non-Indians for sorcery, witchcraft, and devil worship. All right, I got to get two more, huh? Going for nine and ten. Come on, nine. Come on, ten. Oh, nine! Copy. Paste. Oh, come on, chat. Chat? Come on, chat. Chat's being difficult. Okay, nine. What two Spanish monarchs requested the establishment of the Spanish Inquisition? Ten. What Edgar Allan Poe tale is set during the time of the Spanish Inquisition? Hey, so uh, question nine. Do we have to come up with both or is it obvious like Laurel? There's Lund? there's one answer which consists of two names. Okay. Eight. Arr. Any stupid Arr. questions before we open up? What does a pirate have to do with <laughs> what this whole situation? That's my stupid question. <laughs> Nothing. I just we, we needed to have the uh, you know, we just needed to have it. That was fun. Okay. All right. Breakout rooms. Everybody ready to go see your friends? Okay. Good lord. Um, Ferdinand and Isabella. Yeah. Ferdinand Ferdinand. and Isabella. That's right. Mm -hmm. And number 10, I think, is the Telltale Heart. Could be. Maybe not. Was that even given a a time period setting? Because that's just a guy coming into a house. Like the whole thing about that. I don't know if it's, I don't know. It could be the the cask of Amontillado. Ah, maybe, yes. Maybe that, so I agree. Yeah. Okay, and we know number eight, don't we, California? Castle of what? Cask. Santiago. Of Montalano. It's- cask, like a cask of wine. Cask of. Cast of a month. Good luck with that. C A S T. Cask. Right. No, C A S K. Cask. K A S K. C A S K is correct. Oh, is that right? Of- yeah. Of who? Um, Amontillado, and, and spell it like it was in Spanish, I think. It's. A M. I didn't understand what you said. Montreal. No, it's not. There's no R. 
M T uh, wait. I'm on T E E and then L L A D O. L L A D O. D A D O. Yeah. There you go. And number, I think that's um, phonetic, but not right. Number, number, eight. number one is number one is 1492. Oh, you're right. Really? Really? Pretty sure. Yeah. I thought that was Columbus. It's, yeah, that uh, more than one thing can happen that, every year. Uh, except also, it's 1492, not 82. Yeah, yeah I was going to say that. You 92. Still have 82. 92, not 82. But you said 82. <laughs> yeah, no, 92. Um, and it was abolished something like 1830. Yeah, it was late, I don't, huh? I don't remember exactly. 1830? Somewhere yeah. around there. Inquisition period prior. And I, I don't know. I don't have a clue for anything. Wasn't anything the... Um... six. Wouldn't three be the um, Crusades? No, no. The Crusades were were missions to uh, Jerusalem. Yeah, there, well, there was a lot of killing going on during then. Yeah, but yeah, it was located. It wasn't located in southern France and northern Italy. Okay, for it, for right. it, whatever guess. Yeah, and got a clue. It's gonna be a big number. Okay, five. So a hundred thousand. Anybody know what the sharp torture instrument is? Nope. Or a video I think it's. Well, I don't know what it's called, but I think it was like so. You you're sitting there, and you if you try to fall asleep, it'll stab you in the throat. That sounds uncomfortable. And you think of a video yeah. game style, Avi. You're the youngest here. You play video games, right? And not that many. <laughs> and the video games I play are many decades way, old. Way old, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay, the first, was, the first what gun about? Inquisitor. Cruelty. Um, could it be the guy who was the impaler? Val, 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 the impaler? No, it's, Vlad. Not, no, he was, it's not. It's not Vlad the impaler. That was he was the Romanian guy. Yeah. Was the guillotine named after somebody? But that was that was in France. And that was and, and much later. No, much know. later. Okay. We number, could have done cultural appropriation. Number seven has got to be a cross. Oh, that makes mm. sense. Yeah. Christian cross. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. number eight is everybody knows that one, Unipro Sarah. I've never heard yeah. of this. Well, you're not on the East Coast. West Coast. J U. Oh, the West Coast. You're on the wrong. You're on the wrong coast. Unipro. Come on, Unipro. Starts with J. J U N. I. P. E. E R O. R O. And then the last and name is Sarah. Sarah. S E R R A. That's not how you spell Sarah. It is. Well, not just it, it does. It does for for that one. If you're yeah. Hinipero. Um. Okay. So number six, we should probably know that. Yeah. Um, Anonymous what was his cruelty, name? intolerance, and fanaticism. Yeah, and I. I'm going to kick myself when I hear it, but I I can't remember. Was it one of the popes? Think well, so. I don't it think so. Name. Name it, been... it couldn't have been a pope because they got a different name when they become pope. And if he was a grand inquisitor before, inquisitor before that, he would have been using a different name. This okay, so what would be... Okay, so if you're trying to come up with a name of somebody who embodies cruelty, intolerance, and f f fanaticism, and like, it's not McCarthy. <laughs> uh, Trump. <laughs> Or, or Trump, or Trump. Yeah. it's yeah. got to be something we probably would have thought of. So, some an old, you know, like we would have said Dracula or something. Oh, or Camara, can you spell Porcamata. this? Porcamata, yeah. Who? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's, yeah it's, it's, it's got with a that's, Q. That's yeah. It, there's a Q in there, but yeah, what is that? I think I've never that's. Heard of that. Yeah, that's the guy's name. Porcamata. He was the guy. He was. The I've guy never that. heard of that. Good job. I've heard that name. I didn't really associate it. Who came up with that? Him. Leonard. Well, well his mother and father. I've never heard of that. I've never heard that word. Is that where they get the word torture? No. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. A, it makes sense, but I have no idea. Or maybe that was his nickname because of 
sharp instrument and a video game title. Okay, name you video game titles. Title. Mario Brothers. <laughs> Fortnite. Pong. Pong. Frogger. Breakout. Any are, are there any Breakout. Atari games that that you can think of that are like this? A video uh, game. No. It might not no. have been the sharp torture instrument, but it it could be like um Vlad or or the Impaler. Finigler. Frogger. Frogger, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not Frogger. Frogger. I yeah. love Frogger. Could be. I want to put Frogger just because I think that's funny, but we'll, okay, we'll that's better than it. nothing. Um yeah. but, but you could you could you put in parentheses there impaler? Yeah. Frogger the impaler. Frogger. Not the impaler, <laughs> but just as an alternative um guess. Well, we could we I mean neither of those is right. It's not gonna be the impaler. Okay, then you delete it if you want. I like, I like Frogger, Frogger the Impeller though. Impeller. Cool. Yes, I, mean, I want to video the game. I want to play that. Answer. Yeah. The Impeller Frogger. Kermit. Okay. okay. An Inquisition period prior to the Spanish Inquisition. I mean, the only thing that came to mind I know is absolutely wrong. And that's pogrom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I, I absolutely I, I, know I that's that. wrong. Because I've never heard of it. Much later. Yeah, I absolutely know that's for, wrong. For, a term for, yeah. used to describe the Inquisition. So like the Dark Ages. 1184. No. Like it would be a term that we would just use to symbolize and, that time. Yeah. Um, not a clue. Oh, we'll know yeah. it later. Um, shit. Was that some kind of Roman thing? It's the southern France and northern Italy. 1100, so that's after the Romans, right? Long after. Yeah, yeah but... Beta version? <laughs> no, it's going to be alpha. Because it's, it's earlier. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Prequel. Please use describing it in position. 18, 1184. The beta version is is what like where they've started trying it out, but they haven't. It's not fully production ready. Where alpha is before that. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven eighty four. Frogger sure the Impaler. Nice. Frogger the Impaler. It's what do you mean? That's not correct. <laughs> nice. We want to play it, even if even if it's not right. We want to play that video game. I think we did that in high school when we dissected them. <laughs> okay. What term is used to describe an inquisition? Can you name a term to describe any period of history around the 1100s? Like the Dark Ages? Well, the, that's, that's broad. The re um, Renaissance? The... Also, is there, is there okay. I'm um, just trying to come up with terms. Maybe it'll jog your mind. Okay, the Renaissance, the Golden Age, the, the plague, <laughs> the Golden Age of torture, <laughs> new technologies um, dark, every every day. The Dark Ages or something. I mean, no, Dark Ages is that was later. No, well, I mean, it included no. I think it was earlier. The yeah, Forgotten the dark years. Ages earlier. The Forgotten yeah. Years. The the Spaniard Years thing. Years? What years? Decades. The era, the dark era. Peggy's the, time. The Frogger dark era. Dark oxide. <laughs> Carbon dark oxide. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> and thou shalt bleed. <laughs> oh, William B. Davis just put up a picture. His wife is young. Here we are, Monday, Who's... celebrating our thirtieth wedding anniversary. Who's William, William B. Davis. Davis. I haven't I haven't seen or heard from him in ages. The, the smoke he's the smoking man, right? Yeah, it's one of the first Wikipedia articles I ever wrote. He's the what yeah. man? He's the smoking the, man. The smoking man from the X Files. The cigarette smoking man from the X Files. He's a big skeptic. He used to speak at uh, skeptic conferences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've I've never seen the X Files. 
Really? Oh, Neither have I. oh my god. They are so oh. much fun. They... Litter, you too? Yeah, I've never never watched it. I assume wow. it would just piss me off. <laughs> no, oh, no. It, it's it's like this tension between a true believer you and you, the sex. The you don't tension. you don't know how easily piss Actually, Leonard, I do know how easily pissed off you get it. I was going to say, yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. We <laughs> okay, so what do we got? I want to see PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Let me see some. <laughs> wow. Here you go. Aren't they great? PowerPoint. Okay, <laughs> I wanted to go with Monty Python, and then I saw the Muppets, and I went, oh, oh yeah, it's got to be Muppets. They did a Okay, that Muppets was worth it just for that. <laughs> just to see the Muppets? Come on, yeah. Muppets is a grand... Oh, Jesus. I said that was oh, worth it. That's great. Uh, oh, this That's is brilliant. this is AI. They all have the wrong number of fingers. We'll, we'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to the Muppets later. <laughs> okay. okay, number one. The Inquisition started in 1478, so your right answer would be 1473 to 1483. Here's the clue oh, tonight. Oh, no. Hey, Carl. If nobody gets the right answer, and it sounds you got like the right answer. Did, okay, then Carl for, knew it. for the subsequent ones, if nobody gets the right well, answer, the closest that. answer can win. Yeah. All right, number two, the final abolition did not occur wow. until 1834. Wow. I got it. Exact yes. number. That one. I, I heard Carl say this, and I just wanted to leap through the air and punch him. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wow. How do you know that? That's you gotta so go to, you got to go to Psycon so you can punch him, Peggy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe next year. Um, so I don't know who these idiots are, but so random people are going to be walking up to Carl and punching him. Or because they watch the trivia. <laughs> sure I don't really want to. Wear a lot of padding, like, Carl. How does he know everything? If every single person that watches this punches me, I, to, I think I'll be pretty safe. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you'll be what? Safe. Number three, it was called the Medieval Inquisition. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm are you sure it wasn't track, called the Inquisition right? Alpha version? You. You were I right know, about the I era know, thing. Things close to yeah, the era. You got the era really the, close, but the Inquisition, the Phantom Menace. <laughs> <laughs> and number four. So the the number of people of hey, course. Oh wow! One hundred fifty thousand people were prosecuted. Three thousand and five thousand were executed. Um, so it was a lot of people, but oh, you know. we went a little too high. <laughs> well, it's an actual photograph of it. That sounds yeah, it's a photo. <laughs> it's it's photo. It's always um, a little too high. It looks like an airport. Did they they took it with get, a drone. Yeah. Did anybody <laughs> get <laughs> that explosion? Yeah, we got right on the money. Yeah, we yeah, yeah we got right on the money. We, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, excellent. Okay, yeah. so we don't have to worry about who got closest because somebody got it. Yep. This was called the Heretics Fork, and to my surprise, there's some kind of stupid oh my game God. called Heretics Fork. Never heard of it. There, ah. there it was well, there was also a game it. called Heretic, but that was earlier. Oh, that yeah. was like awesome. 90s, I think. Person. How about? Are you sure there? It wasn't called Frogger the Impaler. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure. It, it, hey, we oh, finally got a point. Impaler. It was the Super Mario Brothers work. <laughs> So uh, number um, six is Tomas de Torquemada. I can't, can't talk about anything. Do, is just the last name sufficient? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Thank you. And it doesn't even have to be spelled right, but I was so impressed <laughs> that so many of you did. Leonard Yay. knows his Well tortures. done. Number seven is just <laughs> Christian Frost, and that's hey, the, of course. the All right. symbol of the Inquisition was those. To be. Can we just say the cross? Yeah, that's fine. And I did say <laughs> the Christian Frost is on the recording. <laughs> Number eight for you, Western, Western oh, United um, States. You wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, yes. Fair That's right. the one I knew. The one I knew. <laughs> okay, so for, ex, for extra trivia nonsense, on right. where is that Where is that statue? It's that statue Mateo is County. on Highway 280 um, between San Francisco and, you know, where I live. It's it's Mateo right Mateo. where he's, he's right where it's pointing. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen that statue. You if you look close, have, if you look close, the the bottom says, "Pull my finger." <laughs> <laughs> and now have to, so during during the big game between Berkeley and Stanford, very often this statue is messed with, and somebody will put like a football uh, under the finger or some kind of yeah. helmet on top of the statue. But did you California people make fun of me and mention this last week when you were making fun of me for saying that first name wrong when it was San? The I episode. Hear what you, I want to yeah. hear you say this, Rob. San Junipero. So Junipero Serra. No, well, it's 
You Junipero. were practiced this from last week. It's Junipero. 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 The accent is kind of important. Mm. Um, you know, it's a beautiful, it's actually a really nice pull off spurt from the freeway because it's got a great view. I've it does. It's it. a nice place. I've driven I've that driven road a lot right <laughs> and it's I've never seen it. Oh, you, you weren't looking because you, ha you have to look. Yes. You have to get off. Usually. I remember it from this? when I was a little kid. I was like, "Mom, yeah. wow. you should be able to see it." Yeah, you me. weren't driving, so you didn't. You didn't have to pay attention to the road. <laughs> Number nine, Ferdinand and Isabella. Yeah, Ferdinand One and Isabella. Two names. Wow. And there they are. That's a picture. They were of hot. Them. What a hot couple. That's like J Lo and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know Number it's ten. Oh, the the pendulum. 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 I was gonna say that one too, but I didn't. Yeah, like it. Sorry, but they... wait, isn't J Lo getting divorced now? Yeah. Yes. So they were. Hey, look, go back to that slide. Michael Jackson oh, looking okay. that. Oh, you're right. Let me see Michael Jackson. Right. Michael go? Jackson was a pit and pit. the pendulum. Go back to it. She's ki I she's can't. I can't. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Let me stop and then I'll start. Pirate, pirate powers. Mm. I know my pirate powers, pirate powers suck, point, don't they? Peggy. I also want to see the Muppets again, honestly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> They're such the cutest little inquisitors <laughs> ever. Ah, uh, uh, my ancestors. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> the Muppets? No, the Spanish. <laughs> 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 Rob um, pointed yeah. out their AI because they only have four fingers. Okay, I can't get this fucker to cooperate. So, um, you wanted to see this it's because it had cool. Michael Jackson. Where? Oh, well, that the yellow dress. Curious because I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, no. One. Where's Michael? On the right Jackson? side. Which but, one's Michael Jackson? The third one. What you're seeing. Third one down. Third one oh, down. That's a woman. Oh Wasn't yeah. Wasn't that the same lady who was in uh, mm. Spira? Yes, it's a joke. <laughs> Oh, it's a That's joke. the same lady in Suspira. Yeah, the original one. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. All right, okay, we so with the Muppets. I love the and Muppets. Take our scores. Mm. Okay, so here's that the was, thing. That was, that was a good so, point. So the mm. scores are already what the scores are. Oh, okay. Remember, you guys, Karen's up for grabs. So if you'd like to grab Karen... <laughs> you want it too badly? Yeah. Welcome, you Karen. Want very badly. You want to come? It's so close funny, stars. Susan. We're happy welcome, to welcome, welcome Karen to our, our team, group, Karen. Yeah. Here's my question about number one. Uh -huh. Peggy, there's a, the um that the year. What was it? What was the question? It was the year that of the beginning the of Inquisition the Inquisition started. It's 1492, and and how I remembered that I was um. Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Yeah, and it was, <laughs> and it was by chance. It was the it was the same monarchs. That's what we answered too. Yeah, and um, and then th the names of the monarchs are down in number nine: Ferdinand and Isabella. Mm -hmm. And and those were his boats. Those were Columbus's boats, mm -hmm. and the and the and Ferdinand and Isabella. Uh, it was Queen Isabel they financed that, them. That, mm -hmm. that financed Columbus's voyage, and I don't understand why that why the begin like oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to completely revise that in my memory now. Okay. Yeah, no, we 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 answered that too. We my group did that too, Wendy. Thank you. Um, okay. So same so, logic we have. Scores, yeah. scores, scores. So let's start with there's something on our minds. Oh, five. Okay, so let's go to, well, that was my team and, and Peggy's team. James Earl Jones' last breath consisted of carbon dark side. Five. I don't like that. And then concept of a plan. I'm not president now. Well, we were 0 for 4, and then we got the next 6 right, so we got 6. Mm -hmm. All right. And then last but not least, we have a concept of a plan for a name. Keeping in mind that you guys are tied at 10, so if you come in with 0, you have a chance of getting Karen. <laughs> I don't think that's <laughs> worth it. That's not yeah. likely. We got Sorry, eight. Karen. Eight. 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 Wow. Oh, all right. So, Karen, yeah. you're on team we're one. Doing, we're doing really good. You're on the James Earl Jones team. No, no, no. No, no. 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 Team two. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Never mind. You are on 
you were on there's something on our minds team this is higher math yay karen uh, it's a lot of work yay karen it's, it's so much work for me all right so well, let's was do hard. Our, our photo I'm you should be happy with that susan a score of six that was hard yeah, that, yeah. we had some clever people on our team because i knew who nipper osara and that's it yeah me too that's, I, I would have gotten, that's what we knew i would have gotten isabella and fernando but you know okay here we go fernando <laughs> Fernando, <laughs> hide away. okay ready everybody one two three go for it lee <laughs> oh lee he put his head on oh my god lee oh and and karen she did the she did the and and Kevin's right in is in the uh, the Prussian or the the German the German trenches. Oh yeah, yeah he is. Oh, I Karen Karen did the Kamala look. Okay, like, so nobody's going to We're not taking a break quite yet because Sexy I want to have there, Karen. I want some birthday songs. Oh, so I know that uh, Gail's birthday just passed, and I understand that Jamie's birthday passed, and he. Played six yes. so we could sing to. Is there anybody else mm -hmm. I'm missing? Thank Before you. that, Jamie, I have a very important question about Thailand. In uh -huh. Thailand, do you do people use chopsticks? No, never. It's a Chinese thing. We use spoons. That's oh, it. You, you okay. take food. You take. You use a fork to push food onto a spoon. You use a spoon, but nobody uses chopsticks. No. That would be insulting because be not even at Chinese restaurants. <laughs> there, there's, there's almost no Chinese restaurants in this country. Yeah. People think that Chinese restaurants are unsanitary. So there's very few Chinese restaurants here. It's, it's odd. Yeah. We, we want to go to a Chinese restaurant and they don't exist here. So it's, it's kind of tough. But, but no, lots of no good chop Thai food, huh? Yeah. No chopsticks. No. Yeah, you got to yeah, suffer through question. Thai food. So yeah. I, my yeah. question is, Besides Jamie and besides Gail, are there any birthdays? And you better tell, confess. Otherwise, if, if I find out later, then it's going to be worse. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to make, know, she's going to get Peggy today, to walk you off the plank. Susan, I, think today I have been really lucky on the date of my birthday. I came, I, I came into the world the day after Korea, North Korea celebrates its, its, uh, day of independence or whatever, and the day before 9-11. But she just ruined it, because I have to get some to now. This bears so little resemblance to actual singing. It's okay. Well, they are not. <laughs> okay, so and everybody's got there. their... And this is a family thing now, right? Because oh, yeah. Yeah. this week it is. Okay, so I've got my bell. And hold, I've got on, my hold on, hold on, hold on. Ramiro is cheating. You're cheating, Ramiro. Uh, put, get, cheating, okay. cheating what? Or? No, you were cheating. You were on, you were on mute. Oh. Nobody's saying yet. Ben, ben, the same thing. So the, the, who's, the, and Carl. Got the, pitch on, the, the Gestapo's checking you guys out, Carl. We have to, the Spanish Inquisition. Okay, ready? This is Gail. And, and wait, it should be Jamie, then Gail, because Jamie's birthday was. Jamie's was first. Yeah. It was August. <laughs> okay, ready? Hey. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, 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 birthday to you. Happy birthday, 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 birthday to you. Happy birthday, 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 yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> you know, and, and we could, I think we could do America's Got Talent. <laughs> In Grenada, they they then go, "May the good Lord bless you." <laughs> okay, five minutes, y'all. Go. Okay, oh, y'all. We're doing great. So, Susan, um, oh, where'd it go? <sighs> I, I want to show you a fun. going to share my screen because this is very fun. <laughs> that's good. Oh, that is adorable. I love that. that Isn't is that adorable? 
Yeah. Except my cats never do that. They're the most gentle things of walking around. Mm -hmm. They just never do it. I and unfortunately, the I've cats never had can't... a cat that knocked items off ever, and I've had cats all my life. And unfortunately, the cats all can't my life. Vote. That's clever. They they don't need to vote. They just need to push them off the edge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, five minutes, y'all. Yeah, I took a picture of it. Did you hear my joke, uh, Ben? Tell the joke. Tell the joke. But you got to use the accent. Which, I don't know if I've heard it or not. Uh, well, I, I told it pretty early. Um, there are more people that have joined. I'll wait till after the break. If, if that's okay, Susan. Susan's yeah, run away. Do she doesn't care. Sure. Okay. Jeez. That was it, a funny joke. It's worth waiting for. I I figured it was uh something that was very old. It was told by um uh an AI. So <clears throat> you mean it was plagiarized by an well, AI? Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you want to look at it that way. I have a yeah, clean otherwise joke. known as honesty. I have a clean joke, but it sounds absolutely filthy. You want to hear it? Uh, it's clean. With that, with that introduction, how could we not? It's clean, but it sounds filthy. There's a two trees growing in the woods, an ash tree and um, I'm sorry, a birch tree and a beech tree. And in between the two trees, there's a little sprig that starts to grow. And the birch tree says, that's my son. And the beech tree says, no, that's my son. And they argue back and forth. And then a little woodpecker lands on one of the trees. And they ask the woodpecker, could you go down and take a little taste of that tree to tell us who the father is? So the little bird goes down and takes a little peck of the tree. And he comes back and says, that is not the son of a birch or the son of a beech, but the sweetest piece of ash I've ever sunk my pecker into. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is good. It's no it's not dirty, but it sounds dirty. Uh, well my joke, uh there's a few people here that haven't heard it yet. So unless they heard like the old version that Lee heard from like way back in the day of like back before the interwebs. Yes. Yeah. I want to share something too that I just saw that I think this group is going to appreciate from Facebook. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I wish it were true. It. That's very funny. It's very good. Okay. I've seen it earlier. We could have named that team that way. It's a picture of Kamala. Oh, there have just been so many hilarious things. Oh, Gail, I don't know if your ears were ringing the other day, but I did. I had a lecture with my Ollie. And when we were talking about critical thinking, and I said, if you remember my friend Gail last semester, Gail Knapp from last semester gave, gave us examples of how our brains can be fooled. And I, I used one of those examples, so. Right. There's nothing I like better than to hear people still remember something I did. <laughs> it was our, one of the ones that said- can be fooled? I know. Really? <laughs> Who would have thunk it? I know. Mm -hmm. That's got to be one of, well, there's too many, but I would say one of Trump's 
absurd lies about this boarding babies after they're born bullshit. Just, and he keeps going with that one too. Oh because there's God, people who that. believe it. People believe it. And it gets yeah, them, it gets yeah. them the media attention, which he thrives on. All right. So we're back. All right. Is All everybody right. here? Back in black. Raise your hand if you're not here. <laughs> Bob, so, what do you got going on this week or this last month? Anything? I got nothing. I'm probably not going to have nothing till Psycon. Wow. I'm taking, it was like, it was like crazy for three months and I decided I'm not going to push myself to do anything. Yeah, I've got to get something done this month too, but I'm working in piles of books. So I, 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 as I, as I wrote you before, I, you know, did contact one of the Sunday paper presenters and trying to get his thing finalized. So you and I need to sit down sometime this week and talk about plans for that. Sunday oh, paper. Carl, bad. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm around. I'm sitting down. Okay. Yes. Carolyn, you got some stuff going on over there. I keep seeing you up on my Facebook feed with something new. You and um, Daniel have... Reed are, are trying to, on opposite ends of the coast, and you're both trying to do like these things, and everybody's like, well, I just talked to these people, and they gave did this class, and they did this. It's like, what the heck are you doing? So I, <laughs> Amazing. I had a lecture to introduce my workshop that's coming up in... November so I wanted to give him the background and as I mentioned I even evoked Gail Knapp's name from her lecture last semester um, but anyway I also was invited to do another lecture for our local AAUW. Isn't that awesome? Very good. I'm very 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 pleased. It's so cool and Carolyn looks like she's finalized her um, Sunday paper talk. Anybody who goes to Psycon, do not leave before the Sunday papers, or else we will hunt you. I down. need all the moral support I could get. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, Wendy, From this group, yeah, Wendy, you've got uh, has picked the theme. Her and Heather picked the theme for Psycon. If you're going to Psycon, Wendy's Wendy, I'm here. I was um trying to um yeah. The theme is going to be. That's what these were for. So that or anything else that is what? What's the theme, Wendy? Space or sci-fi. Outer space or sci-fi. Funnier, yeah. goofy. And it's just like whatever it's easy. Like um um, I got like there there are um some cute t-shirts from uh, Amazon. Here I'll show you one. Do you? How do you organize this space party? Okay, so what we were thinking is, um, what's uh, the answer? Heather and I were going to get together over the weekend and and plan it a little better. But we were thinking about just Planet. having handouts. Um, it was going to be too complicated, I think, to have a separate um, uh, email list or website because we don't know like everybody that's coming to to Psycon. So we were thinking of maybe just having little slips of paper that we could hand out to everybody, like in, within the first day that we, you know, um, or put them by the, uh, put a stack of them what by the- What paper say? I don't understand. Is it an invitation to a party? Oh, it would say, it would say that we're, that, you know, to be sure to get together with us and we're going to have costumes, but then people wouldn't have like that possibility of bringing a costume. Right. Like so we're going to have to- I won't so, work that yeah. So Wendy and Heather have decided they're gonna do a, at least a video, a Facebook video with me that we'll put up on the Psycon site. They'll talk about some of the Yeah, an ad hoc kind of just, you know, very simple theme party, like uh no host and um and decide on a place to have it. Well, we probably won't have a, chat, a place. Oh, okay, here. This is a good question and a good group to ask. Is, is anybody that is playing uh, trivia tonight that lives in Las Vegas or near Las Vegas know anything about the horseshoe layout? Carl and I went it's walking through it. New. They just revised, they redid an existing hotel. So very few of us are going to know what. Yeah, knew well, Carl, anything Carl the and outside. I went through it. We walked through it, right, Carl? And we we explored locations and we found a few locations and we went to the food court. The problem is, is we don't know what's going to be not sports yeah, we, related. You know, they might be having a sports oh. game on somewhere. There might be 
I, you know, we'll, we'll plan it, but I think that Wendy and Heather and I can do the video talking about the theme of, of, um, where goofy space stuff and <laughs> FI stuff. And that'd be fun. It's not a, you're not going to get prizes or anything, but it's just to hang out with. I think yeah, just fun. to hang out and just have fun together. Like in right. a way. if it's Pluto related, it's even better because you know that Neil deGrasse. Yeah, I've got that shirt that, that says, um, that's about Pluto and that, um, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson is we troll, be, we'll be trolling him yeah <laughs> if you could do Pluto it's just really. fun and it's just and I mean like I just liked the idea of having unstructured fun time together I like that I, I think it's a great idea I wish I was doing a talk <laughs> so I could wear my dingle balls I guess I could wear them on Sunday we'll see if they hurt my head or whatever I end up wearing oh yeah really what's the same that would be perfect yeah, it's a, it says uh, Pluto, uh, never forget, 1930, yeah. 2006. Yes. yes. That would be <laughs> perfect. I love it. I thought of, a, I thought of an alien-esque thing. What? They have that thing, that silly thing like on Facebook, like you say your name backwards and that's your Star Trek name or something like that. That could be like a little simple way for people to be silly and... Well, thank oh, you. you know what? I'm just remembering also... Um, Celestia, who, if you've got the uh, squaring the strange thing, she built out a, uh, uh, like a you, mylar aliens. It's green and it's a balloon. I think I still have mine. Hey, I have all the ones I ever received from her, so mm -hmm. I'll, I probably still have it. Maybe I have mine too. Okay, and I got a table. Barry told me today they'd reserve two tables for you, Susan, but. It's going to be really tight in the book room. So he's only giving me one table. So, uh oh. So that's all right. I can deal with it. It's just going to be tight. Okay. So we're ready to start up again, or is there anything else I should know? Well, so long uh, as we have enough chairs, we don't really care about how much table there is. We'll sit around the table. We'll sit on that's the right. table. That's right. Okay. We'll you sit on what? the ground next to the table. We'll just grab chairs and drag them over. I don't care. I said on the zone that. this week. Well, Deborah's um, right. The what is, that? Oh, what's the, on the zone? Oh, oh Wendy yeah. was talking. No, I was just saying, I think Deborah's right. It's like the the table, we can squeeze the chairs close together if we have enough chairs. Yeah. So, yeah. What's on so, the zone? Is the week? food court avail is accessible, like to move things around? No. The chairs no. were no. all like stuck to the ground. Is there a restaurant that where we could move tables together? We couldn't find one. Carl, we didn't really look though. But the food court, we we did go to the food court twice and people you can kind of take over areas and just kind of mingle around each other and you have to move, but you couldn't move chairs. It's not like at um uh the Johnny Rockets. The, it, it is not a is not a Del Mar. It's not well, the Del Mar, Mar was used. that was extraordinary. I never liked the Del Mar. You didn't? No, it's smoky. But, and I don't like those but for that, a, but that aspect of it, the yeah. ability to move things around, that was yeah. great. Everything well, else. We could sucked. do that at the flamingo yeah. <laughs> in the food court. You, Carolyn, we can't see what you hold know, up. You have a background. It, oh, what is this? We're all we star what? stuff. Yeah. We are what? We are made of. We are all made of star stuff. Oh star yeah, guys. yeah. Carl Sagan's. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so cat. I have Yes, yeah, on the zone, um, Adrian is reading the newsletter this week, and I believe, based on what Richard said last week on the zone, um, a segment I recorded like back in June is finally going to be aired. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, good, nice. Do you still remember it? Yeah, it's all about manifesting. Aren't you lucky? Well, we're going to manifest that episode. Hey, I'd like to <laughs> manifest a number five on the damn dice when you guys roll them. <laughs> I mean, I'm shouting five every time, and it's not just five. It needs to be five, five, five. Well, did you five hear your shout up. out on last week's dice game? Yes, I hear every time, but you guys aren't manifesting it for me. <laughs> five, five, five. I tell Way you every time. Work. I'm yelling at the thing, but no. Insufficient. Isn't that? Is, doesn't she need to try that access consciousness or whatever yes. you talk about? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the secret. Okay, Carl, you up? Uh, I suppose so. You look up. <laughs> Don't forget, I need a bonus for next week. 
keep looking and don't forget to join us this saturday if you can at 11. all right the category great movie put downs and slams volume three i will read a a, a put down <laughs> from a movie and you need to name what movie it is from all right I just got muted. How rude. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Number one. From a 2004 comedy line by Steve Carell. Hey, where'd you get those clothes? The, the toilet store? Number two. From a 1998 comedy line by Jamie Lee Curtis. To call you stupid would be an insult to stupid people. I've known sheep that could outwit you. Number three, from a 1998 comedy, line by Robin Williams, you're in more need, more dire need of a blowjob than any white man in history. Number four, from a 1997 comedy, he's a pedantic, 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 pontificating, pretentious bastard, a belligerent old fart, a worthless steaming pile of cow dung, figuratively speaking. And pay attention to the capitalized words. They will help you. From a 1973 horror, your mother sucks cock in hell, Karis, you faceless slime. I think you just got demonetized, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> number six from a 1975 comedy you tiny brained wipers of other people's bottoms Baxton gives that one away number seven from a 2000 drama line by Julia Roberts that's all you got lady two wrong feet and fucking ugly shoes Number eight, from a 1978 comedy, actor John Vernon to actor Stephen First. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. Number nine, from a 1987 war drama, Five Nine, I didn't know they stacked shit that high. And finally, number 10. From a 1996 sports comedy, you eat pieces of shit for breakfast? Go forth and break out. All right, Karen. I put you in your team. And Karen is going to go on two. I'm going to three. Second time, but that's okay. I know one. Same when everybody else. Knows. I think I know a couple of these. Mm. I suck at these things. <sighs> okay, well, okay. Which one? Well, let's start with the one you know. Which one do you know? Oh, it's the uh, number six. It's the Monty Python and Holy Grail. Yeah. Really. Oh, uh, uh, a funny accent that those number movies. seven is Bro Aaron Brockovich. Is that the name of the movie, though? Oh, that makes sense. Aaron Brockovich, I think that's right. I don't know. Yeah, I just can't remember if that's the name of the movie. I think uh, which, it was the, which one are we talking seven. about? Seven. Number seven. seven. How do you spell Brockovich? Aaron, e, e R I N Brockovich, doesn't matter. I saw that movie. Don't remember the line. Ryan either. Dunning has done a um a thing on it that it's it no. I, the reason I remember it is because I I don't know if I've seen the whole movie, but I keep getting that excerpt coming up on uh, on oh. these little uh, things. Hmm. Anybody know any of the other ones? No help. Could uh, um, what's uh, number two? Could that be the um? Uh, the movie with uh, 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 she and um, um, 
our Schwarzenegger, uh, our, our, how about, our, how about trading Lawrence? places? The how radio trading places? mama from the train? No. Um, how about uh, trading places? That, that works. Uh, is she in that movie? Was yes. she in that movie? Yes. That's what's his name. That's um, um, Eddie Murphy. Um, Eddie Murphy. Yeah. And um, um, well, all right. What's all right. Name? Yeah. She she befriends the guy, the rich guy who's put out on the street. Uh, I don't remember the line, but that's about the right time. Yeah, I don't think it's trading places. That's... Got another idea. They were, they were both both of those guys yeah. turned out to be i think they were uh 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 or he was a spy he was a spy not a spy but like a cia agent or something like what, what that. Guy, what guys who are you talking uh, about uh number two uh a uh, schwarzenegger um huh? well, schwarzenegger? which one are you thinking of lee no i i, I think it's thinking, a fish um, called all right, I never saw that. Wanda, yeah, well, yeah. Jamie Lee Winston. Curtis was in that. I don't even remember, but I do remember it was really good. It's uh, yeah, that's with uh, uh, with uh, Cleese. Um, yeah, uh, Cleese. No, Klein. Uh, uh, Kevin Klein. No, it was also uh, Cleese. Yeah, John Cleese, Michael was, Palin. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a Monty Python yeah. short. Yeah. All right. It how about really the Robin William Robin Williams line here? Right. Um, uh, could that is that part? Could that possibly be um, uh, Forrest Gump? Which one? Forrest Gump and was Robin Williams? Nineteen eighty. Oh no! Never mind. Never mind. I, I never was talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. What am I thinking? I'm thinking. What's his name? Uh, how, about, how about Mrs. Doubtfire? Robin that, Williams? That could be possible. No, yeah. no, because he I don't think they ever did anything that explicit in, in uh, Mrs. Dallas. Yeah, it was a PG. That's a PG. Yeah. That's that's a thing. Hmm. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Hmm. And it's 88, so is that a... F that's yes. about the right time. 88. I thought Mrs. Doubtfire was early 90s. Well, 88 is almost the 90s. <laughs> um, sure. right. How, how really about, nice. how about um, Good Morning Vietnam? That would make... That I would be... That. that could be, yeah. That could be it, yeah. Uh, see that, uh, so... I don't know. Um, Steve Carell. So he was in um the one with um Bill Mar not Bill Murray. Um, oh Jesus Christ. Um, yes, yeah. I'm here. Oh, he was escaping <laughs> me. Um, uh, Jim Jim Carrey, who gets the powers of God, and Steve Carell was in it. I don't remember the line. Oh, um, uh, Bruce Almighty. Yeah, oh, that's that, right. That's what I I'm thinking. I didn't see that either. Is that about the right time frame? That that sounds like the right time frame. Yeah, that's about that. Yeah. <sighs> Rob. I I never like these categories. Mm. Well, I'm no good at him, but then other people like him. Wow, this one I don't know who is Karas. Karas, Karas, Karas. Sounds like an alien. Maybe it's from a uh... horror movie. No, they wouldn't do that. That was quite famous. The oh, night, could the, the one five? number ten be the one that where they had uh, Tom Cruise and the follow the money guy, or show me the money? Could that be mm -hmm. number ten? Moneyball? I don't know. I never saw it. I just so, know the I, one. I didn't either. Not not Moneyball, no. No. Um 1973 horror. Seventy-three. 
horror movie. I'm not big on horror movies, so I probably haven't seen this. 73 was right before The Exorcist came out, so... The name Karras doesn't ring a bell with me at all. No, it's probably I, some I, sci-fi. I just think of Alex Karras, the, the football player. But... I, I didn't see this movie, whatever it is. Um... um... All right. Do you know these characters? John Vernon to Stephen First. They gave the characters. Well, our characters, those are actors. Actors. Sorry. Stephen I, First. Never heard of him. I don't know either of these people. I have heard of. 78 oh. Comedy. Uh, thanks God It's Friday. Saturday Night Fever. Oh. um, Animal House. Animal, Animal House? Yeah. That's Animal a good one. House. That'd be about 78. Yeah. I saw it in the theaters, probably, and I don't remember it. I haven't seen it since then. I don't know any of the characters or the plot. Either. Yeah, John Belushi was in it. I, John Belushi. I, I'm not even sure I saw it. I might have seen it. Uh, well, I'm not saying whether or not it's the answer, but uh, I did just see Animal House in the theater like a couple of years ago because it was like put out as part of the TV Turner Classic Movies event. Uh, oh, Turner yeah. Classic. Wow. That is such an yeah. obnoxious movie to be <laughs> wow. putting All out right. like a... Yeah, I always movie. thought it was a very tame movie compared to my own college fraternity. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. It's Didn't actually tell. fairly tame to a lot of the films of its type that follow it. That's true. It's well, it really not nearly as objectionable to almost every movie in its genre that came after it. Yep. All right, 1987 war. We're gonna get Lee drunk, and he's gonna tell us stories. Full Metal Jacket. It is is at the right time. What your fraternity was like. Yep, it's I think metal was, jacket. Yeah. Uh, I cannot type an A as a second letter like without ever making a capital the first time, and which is annoying because it's that's the way that my last name is. It's always capital P, capital A. Oh, I don't know why. Sports comedy. Okay, so that would be like the 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 golfing one, like um, Caddyshack. Wasn't that had a lot of vulgarity to it? Was that that late? No, it wasn't oh, that late. Man. Caddyshack was in the 80s. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I never saw it, so that's 96. How about there was one that had to do with bowling, and it's not bowling for Columbine, it was bowling, and these guys went bowling, and there was like some guys and somebody's <laughs> killed and they're bowling and there's like three guys and there's a lot of swearing and it could be the 90s and it probably had some comedy in it and they dressed really funny because i think they're supposed to be from the 80s or 70s so by the way going but going back up to uh four just one year different another comedy with a pejorative in it so what do you mean pay attention to the capitalized words i he I, a h e or is the figuratively speaking the things are supposed to be capitalized yeah, the words that are in all caps yeah figuratively speaking how could that help us mm. airplane Oh. Airplane, boy, that that was in the eighties. Yeah, I don't know if I saw it. Sure was cringeworthy. Sports comedy in ninety six. What was I doing in ninety six? Had a five year old and I had an eight year old. I was probably working figuratively not going to movies and watching sports comedies that's the last one you have to do right no we don't have four I don't know if we're going to get four and ten we don't have ten 
Yeah. So um, I guess if you close okay. rooms, you can close rooms. Everybody else is way ahead of us, probably, right? Mm -hmm. We don't have five. That one's Three. that one's a hard 73. one. So 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 could this possibly just be the exorcist? Which one? Sure, yeah, put that down. I think I think the exorcist was 78 or 79, but who knows? I don't know. I never saw it. Uh, how about the omen then? No, no, that was the 80s. That was mm -hmm. definitely the omen. It was I in the late 80s. So. I don't think so. Yeah, because I had a child at that time. Mm. I thought, what if my child is, is one of these demons? <laughs> 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 I'm not kidding. Moms have a lot of uh, a lot of stress. The Exorcist does sound correct. Okay. Could, could uh, number four be one of the yeah. home? Could number four be one of those Home Alone movies? Um, ninety-seven. We got nothing there, so I'm putting it down. Okay, maybe one of the characters was always saying, figuratively say, speaking. Who framed Roger Rabbit? When was Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Oh, that was 80s. That was 1988. Uh, figuratively. I'm just drawn that way. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember that. Mm, but I don't think they would have said something. Well, they might have said a steaming pile of cow dung. 30 seconds. What do you guys want? Home Alone or Framing Roger Rabbit? No, I think he's right. Roger Rabbit, I think. Was it Let's early. do Roger Rabbit, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you want to do Roger Rabbit? Rabbit? Speaking would make sense. Roger Rabbit All right. All was right. 1988. Are you sure? Yes. Oh. All right. Rabbit. Well then, do you want to do Home Alone? I'll put it back yeah, to Home Alone. Okay. It's gonna be Roger Rabbit. And we don't have a sports comedy, do we? No wild guesses. Hmm. I just said when I said for for number ten that I was said first because at least it'll be something in that space. Remember what it was? I chatted to me. I don't remember. Okay, let me let me find you on my list. Probably we can't, the, we can't do the names backwards things in uh, Las Vegas because then Rob's name would not make any sense. It would be the opposite <laughs> of him. Well, Rob doesn't make sense. It would be Trevor. I actually use that as an email address, Trevor. No bore. Uh, All right. Well, so, I mean, it does, you it are does not. Describe Boar does describe Rob very well. No. Oh, boy. Are we ready for answers? Yes, we're ready for answers. All right. So I, I didn't take the trouble to go through every single one of these videos and normalize the volumes and some of the not quite so loud ones. Well, we get so, to see videos that are going to insult. So, yeah. So, so, so oh. try not to speak too much during this thing because a couple of them aren't as loud as I'd like them to be. You snotty nose heap of parrot droppings. Probably should mute everybody then because people are going to make comments and it'll sound louder. Than speak. I could be draconian. All right, here we go. Hey, where did you get those clothes? At the toilet store? Anchorman, Legend of Ron Burgundy. Don't call me stupid. Oh, right! To call you stupid would be an insult to stupid people! I've known sheep that could outwit you. It's called Wanda. You're in more dire need of a blowjob than any white man in history. Good morning, Vietnam. He's a pedantic, pontificating, pretentious bastard, a belligerent old fart, a worthless steaming pile of cow dung, figuratively speaking. I stress figuratively speaking because he had to tell the truth, so he had to clarify that he was speaking figuratively. The enemy have no power over me. Only some of the liquid be power is to harm Your mother sucks cocks and hell, Paris, you friend. faithless slime. The Exorcist. You tiny brained whoppers of other people's bottoms! Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Okay, look, I think we got off on the wrong foot here. That's all you got, lady. Two wrong feet in fucking ugly shoes. Aaron Brockovich. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. 
I will accept just Animal House for an answer. How tall are you, Private? Sir, five foot nine, sir! Five foot nine, I didn't know they stacked shit that high. Full metal jacket. And finally, the piece de resistance. You're in big trouble, though, pal. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. <laughs> you eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. Happy Gilmore. Good old Shooter McGavin. Peggy, hey, yeah, I'm so sorry. You were right. I, I should have listened to me. I did it. Uh, Good right. job, team. So now let's put the answers in chat. No, we didn't do too bad, considering we didn't I did Carl say over. Gilmore, and then I actually went and typed in Caddyshack. This I is one of those occasions where we changed two answers, and we were correct on both to change Ooh. them. So we we lucked out. Yeah, that's unusual. <laughs> okay, hold on just a second. I'm putting the answers in my spreadsheet. So you guys got to wait, because it takes me a second to get these in here. Four. I don't think I've seen a single one of these except the Monty Python movie. Oh, I've seen uh, Fish Called Wanda, but I don't remember it at all. And there's oh, Susan, a... I would like to say that is see, seen a single one of them actually twice applicable. Oh. Okay. I haven't seen a single one of these except two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. I've seen only one of these. I actually think I've, <laughs> I've seen at least one. <laughs> I haven't seen any of the ones I haven't seen. <laughs> I saw the Saturday Night Live sketch about the Exorcist. Don't make me we, laugh. It is it Happy Gilmore? Is your mother eats dirty socks. They That's a typo. There Saturday should be two P's there. Oh, I, I've never seen it. So Caddy has two D's in it too, doesn't it? Or oh, whatever it was at the last one. Nice. My family took me to see Exorcist when I was like eight years old. Jeez. Oh, that's oh. that's not good. Oh my god, that wasn't good. Explain, I know. Look at me now. Well, I, I thought the Exorcist was later. Learning theme. I thought it was seventeen when that came out. I think for strange. number one, I will accept Anchorman. You don't have to have Anchorman. Yay! Like thank you, Carl. Oh yeah, man, that no, was no, no. okay. That was. We'll see how we did. I know I did lots. But you do have to have and the Holy Grail for number two. Of yep. course. That we did. Requirement. Okay, you guys are still on mute, some of you who are trying to talk. So let's go to scores. And what do we have? So I gave there's something on our minds. Karen, did that improve your guys' score? Nope. We're being very consistent. We got five. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Karen back what off your you know the chances of that? Wow. Like, well, Susan wanted me to manifest five, five, five. I actually so caught you did five. it. Cat, you did it. All right. James Earl Jones team. lost breath consisted of carbon dark side. We slaughtered them. We got six. <laughs> Man, you're up in the big buku bucks. Concept of a plan. <laughs> I'm not president now. Ten. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Uh, not my team. We have a concept of a plan for a name. Uh, seven. <laughs> oh, Eight. that's team still in the lead. Wow. Okay, so I need a bonus for next week. Who have I got for a bonus? Gail, Rob, Vincent, and Karen. Karen likes to volunteer because she's such a sweetheart. Okay. And don't forget, we are going to play a game on, on Saturday if you want to play. It's at 11 o'clock. Same link, everything. All right. So we've got our final category tonight, which is Celia is going to do a bonus category. Celia? You're okay, up. trying to pull it up as we speak here. So two right. o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. No, my time. Yeah, two, two o'clock. Two o'clock our time. Thank you. I might be able to play at least some of it. That's earlier than I thought you were going. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the title book. is. Okay, birds of a feather flock together. So as you know, 
There are terms for groups of particular animals like a herd of elephants and a swarm of bees and a flock of birds. But more specifically, there are um, names for groups of particular types of birds. So I am gonna give you a list of 10 types of birds and 15 true names of groups of a particular type of bird and you need to match correctly. Make sense? No. Yep. yep. Okay. Avi, too bad they aren't grapes. <laughs> you were talking about, what do you call a group of grapes? Oh gosh, <laughs> don't know that one. I thought it was a bunch, but I don't know if that's right. On <laughs> dinner, you call them snack. Okay. A bottle of wine. You can actually, how many can I put oh. in the chat chat at once, huh? Do you think I could try to do all ten? Let's see how it goes. You should be able to do all ten. I will try. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Okay, number one is bitterns. Number two, cormorants. Three, emus. They're not in the chat. Oh, oh, sorry, I keep forgetting to hit send. Okay, number one, bitterns. Two, cormorants three emus, four finches, five grouse, six herons, seven ibises, eight lapwings, nine pelicans, and 10 pigeons. And a partridge and a pear tree. <laughs> I thought of that too. Yeah, it kind of fits. I don't know if you noticed, but I actually listed them alphabetically. Well, that's smart because that way we won't be like, oh, well and then i'm going to list your choices alphabetically too i thought maybe that would unbias them i don't know but mm -hmm. um i don't think i can do all 15 on one should chat, be able to so. you think so i'll give it yeah. a try it's usually character count oh yeah well these are short so huh it doesn't seem to what so i numbered the the birds and then um, species, and I should put letters for this, but it doesn't seem to want to do the letters. Huh, well. Well, if they're in alphabetical order, that's kind of. Yeah, it could help. And I can also just add them, so. Um... I know exactly one word for a particular group of birds and you did not choose that one <laughs> <laughs> um oh they did come up with the let letters okay awesome all right a a bevy b charm love that c colony d congregation e covey f deceit <laughs> g fling h Flush, I gulp. <laughs> I swear I did not make any of these up. <laughs> They're real terms for groups of birds. Wow. A kit, K mob, I parliament, M sedge, N siege, and O quadrant. All right. Interesting Any that questions? they need to use these terms for each individual group of bird. I think it's a waste of language. It should just say groups and we could save us a lot of terminology. Yeah, I'm going to write them right now. Then we wouldn't have, a game. Right oh, have this, a game. This would be so much, but they're so cute. They're so charming and so much fun. That is true. Okay. So Let's Kevin is, is in favor of uh, Newspeak. All right. Yeah. 1984. Go to your room. Reduce the number of words in the language to the minimum. Mm. Unnecessary words. That's. Okay. Who's our birders in here? I know a couple sound familiar, but I don't know what they go to. I thought, I thought, um, I know, I know one that isn't. 
Which you know, yeah, I was the looking for owl is a parliament refers to a group of owls. Yeah, that was the I only know. one I knew, and it wasn't it's, there. Uh, <laughs> so you, uh, but there's no owls here. That's what yeah, it is. That's not right. on the that's list. You know, yeah, right. That's why she, she's that's eliminating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put a cup, like a space, a tab in front of the letter L. That's all you have yeah. to do. So, a of how many do we have to take out? Well, there's um, fifteen. We have to match them. So we have to take five out. Five, five, right. five out the and match them to the ten. Maybe a bit bitterns. Covey. Well, these are all familiar, but I have no, <laughs> yeah. no idea what they go I don't even know what a lapwing is. A pigeon. Now, that one we probably have seen. I thought they're rats or like. Isn't a it a mob of pigeons? Yeah, I was thinking a mob of pigeons. I think too. a mob of pigeons. Oh, all right. That makes sense. It's just a guess, but it makes sense. Yeah. I like it. So. I know what finches and herons are called. And pelicans okay. could be a gulp because it makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. A gulp of pelicans. Oh, yeah, because they gulp the be water up. Sense about it. I like that. Yeah, there's got to be a method to their madness, right? A group so, of, yeah, a group of finches is called a charm. Really? Mm -hmm. Nice. We'll take it. Uh, and, finches four. Okay, and herons are actually called a siege. <laughs> I don't know why. Called what? And a siege. siege. And the siege. And yeah. siege of herons. I never heard that. Yeah, I think it's weird because I learned weird. that on our um one of our local lakes. There's a walking trail, and there's lots of herons. All I can think of is the three students want to hear grouse. Hmm. Let's see. Deceit, or do we think that's another? Well, she said none of them are made up. They're just not for these yeah. birds, right? Yeah. Hmm. How about... What's a lapwing? Do we know? The blush. No. A flush. Flush of emus. I like mob for emus better. I don't know why. Well, pigeons. Yeah, I thought I heard I mob that... for pigeons though. But a know. colony of pigeons? Is it a colony? Covey of pigeons, isn't it? No. I don't mm. know. It's a murder of ravens. Murder of crows. Murder of crows. Yeah, murder oh. of crows. Yep. So ravens is um I, I think forget. pigeons might be you can leave pigeons as mob. I thought it was a colony. No? An That's infestation. <laughs> Ping, well, yeah. some other ones can be called colony. Congregation. congregation. What about a congregation of cormorants? Cool. Like we'll congregation now. sounds familiar though. Congregation isn't pigeons, isn't it? <laughs> we want to change pigeon to everything. So, uh, what, what's a bird? Are lap wings like a religious animal? or I've never heard of them. I don't even know what half the things on this list even are. So I'm not going to be a great like help. Well, an emu is um, also yeah. bitters. I was thinking an emu could be a deceit just because they, they look so much like ostrich and aren't. But I might be overthinking that. No, I think I that's completely logical. I think because we did trivia where they one of the groups of birds was um, vultures, uh -huh. and I was like, "Well, they're death birds, so let's just call it a wake of vultures." <laughs> like that's where they come, in. and that was the correct answer. Oh, really? Okay. So, so a deceit, but I I don't know if it's. I I don't know if it's based more on their. Well, people uh, can see be... emus and ostrich all the time. Mm -hmm. Emus are fluffier, though. You know, it's it's almost just a a guess at this point. It is. 
How about a squadron of bitterns? I thought you were going to do a bevy of bitterns. We could. Abyss, ibises, abyss. I wish they had a flock of seagulls. Ah. Uh, what about a flush of ibises? Or a fling? I, you know what, you guys, whatever you want. I have no idea. I bet a flush is something that it's hunted. You know, the, the like, hunting dog goes out. You flush them out? So like a flush of grouse? Yeah. For five? Well, yeah. That's a good, yeah. that's a good reason. logic. At least there's it's logic. an answer. Yeah, and let's do congregation of cormorants. I like that. Yeah, just because it sounds so good. It sounds so good. You're almost uh, done, huh? Yeah. We're guessing. Yeah. We're doing guessing now. No, that's fair. I just worry we're going to. We this can't do any category. This is good. I bet it's difficult for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Let's do a squadron of lap wings. Yeah, this, that this, sounds this. like some bird that would just be like, shh. Robin would be loving this category. Yeah, you know, I was I was wondering if she was going to be here tonight, if the her group would have an unfair advantage or. But yeah, then, she would know these. Birders don't necessarily know these terms either. I, I didn't actually. I mean, I mean, I knew a few, but I mm -hmm. looked it up, of course. The heck are ibises? Oh, they're a beautiful bird. <laughs> we had one that tried to steal food from us at Disney World. <laughs> a fling of ibises. There we go. And a fling of a bevy of bitterns. Yeah, bevy of bitterns sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, a little. I, I want to make sure we're not doing too much alliteration, but you know, maybe. Okay. So they got to a way of. They've got to figure out how they na name them somehow. I like a parliament of owls. Parliament of Owls sounds great. At least we, we were able to know it didn't have be an answer, even though we knew it. I saw that and I said, oh, good. Oh, but the owl wasn't on the list. No. And penguins are called raft when they're in the water. What? Penguins are called a raft when they're in the water. Really? A raft of penguins? called a waddle when they're on land. And a they're my favorite bird. <laughs> what about when I've never heard of that? And you can also call them a rookery colony or huddle because they huddle together and they do the little. Oh, yeah. Circular. That's what the problem with this kind of thing is there are so many versions of it. What do you call a group of humans? A group of humans are. Um... People? <laughs> Destructors, I don't know. A virus, of, a virus of people. <laughs> yeah. People? Well, I don't. I think this this uh, bonus round is gonna gonna We're tank gonna win, us, right? but no. I think we everybody else is in the same shape. Yeah. We it's will be fine. Who 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 guess Hi, Are you feeling okay? Like you're gonna get eaten by your owner? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Ooh. We got one of the cats here. Here's Dave. Uh, hide the silverware. Hide the silverware. I haven't told my my cats about Trump. Oh, Vincent, mm -hmm. you're you're looking very adorable. He doesn't want to be eaten. Oh, thank oh. you. I do want to be eaten, actually. That's I scary. just want to scratch you behind the ears. <laughs> oh, that would be. He's like cool. I okay, would... Celia, what do you got? That was that was clever. Uh, yeah, yeah. You notice I didn't claim it was easy. <laughs> you, yeah. It was not. There's a lot of guessing going on. In I that. could stick my tongue out, and but I thought that would be kind of adorable. Fun. Let's see it. Stick your tongue out, Vincent. Ah. <laughs> lick, lick your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. No. Nope. Okay, so what do well, you that's got? That's really funny. Okay. I'm not Richard so. Simmons, or I'm not that. Uh, Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons. Yes. Gene Simmons. That's... Notice Carol and I, or oh, Carolyn and I, were on that. All right. <laughs> so number yes. one is 
am a sedge of bitterns. Oh. Which you hardly ever see a bittern. And if you're lucky, you'll see one, not a whole group. But anyway. Oh, well. You, I, a gulp of pelicans. I heard a few of you get that one. Yeah. We're two, two is not pelicans. Out. This is confusing. Yeah. Two was cormorants. Two is cormorants. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Uh oh. Whoa. Did I make a mistake? And I'm pretty sure it's a gulp of cormorants. You're right. It was oh. a gulp of cormorants. I miss. I miss. Really? Oh yeah. man, we thought we yeah. had. Sorry, I sorry, I miss. I just completely miswrote it. You see, pelicans is down to number nine. Sorry about that. Right. One, see, even I thought a gulp should be pelicans. I think that's clever. <laughs> no, one M is a sage of bitterns. Two, um, I was a a gulp of cormorants. Cormorants. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm so sorry for that. Uh, three, it was K, a mob of emus. And I did hear at least a couple of you guys come up with that one. Four B a charm of finches. I love that. <laughs> They're just so charming, those finches. Five E a covey of grouse. That has oh, pretty that doesn't really fit. That makes sense. Six Happy. nine a siege of herons. Mm. You don't usually see them. Well, sometimes they're in groups. Seven C a colony of ibises. Eight. Is it ibises or i buy? Ibises. <laughs> a f uh, a deceit of lapwings. What's a lapwing? I'm gonna have to look. Oh, it's a, it's a seabird um with long, slim wings. I've never heard of it. <laughs> it flies over the ocean <laughs> like an albatross, and <laughs> not nearly as big as an albatross. Uh, number nine, oh, a squadron of pelicans, mm -hmm. which, you know, when they get in those big groups, they do, you know, they do feel like that. And 10, J is a kit of pigeons. Kit of pigeons. Oh, boy. Wow. Hmm. I can't believe I growing up in New York City, I've pigeon. never heard that. I don't think I've ever heard that either. Because it's always just the goddamn pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> I told you it should be a shitload of pigeons. Yeah, yeah a shitload, <laughs> crap load. We have pigeons. You don't have Canadian geese where you are. I said the same yeah, thing that's, in my group. That's Canada. true, too. Canada geese. We, and yes, we do. Yeah, we do, actually. <laughs> yeah, we have them. Here they in sure they live everywhere. Your long residence. They knock yeah, down bicycle them. riders sometimes. Okay, well, and they, they, they cause traffic jams on Del Monte Avenue all the time. That's true. Yeah. El Estero Park over to the beach. So they want to go to the beach and then they want to come back to the to the to El Estero <laughs> Lake. And so a group of geese lake. are called inconsiderate assholes. There we no. go. <laughs> <laughs> They're cobra chickens. Anyway, okay. I just thought it was <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of fun, you know. Not so now the scores are anywhere from today. 25 to 15. No, so no. now Karen was the one that you knew before a murder of crows. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows that's everyone's favorite. And a, covey, a murder of crows and a covey of quail. And was it a parliament of owls? We said too, yeah. right? Yes, that yeah. one. Oh, oh, that's yeah. right. I knew I'd oh, heard Of course, Alan. If you have you ever seen the the oh, uh, Ron. A picture on Facebook of Two crows sitting next to each other, and the caption says "attempted attempted murder." murder. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a murder. Of That's crows. clever. That's a kind of I, I remember what ravens are called: an unkindness of ravens. Oh, That's yeah. 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 Very good. Okay, so let's start with the losing team. Let's see if they hit five again. That would we be did. something on our minds. <laughs> we we did. No <laughs> way. <laughs> You tried. Three you plus trying. the supplementary number, all fives. That was actually kind of cool. <laughs> Too bad we weren't rolling Jones dice. Last breath consists yeah. of carbon dark side. Right. Charging into last place with a two. Uh -oh. <laughs> you lost to there something on our minds? Thank you. What were the two? Well right. Done. <laughs> okay, that was that took that took talent. We owe you. <laughs> Concept of a plan. I'm not president now. 
We also got a two. Wow, you really? suck too. Stop okay. the count. Stop we have the a concept count. of a plan for a name. <laughs> and we got a five. Wow, so yeah, that Whoa. was a hard category. <laughs> Look at that three point five. That's perfect. Wow. Oh, I'm amazed we got that. Wow. I just want to know yeah. why it's not a gulp of pelicans. Because I mean, come on, right. does that no. not come fit on. or what? Yeah. That's yeah. not right. Yeah. Have, if you, have you seen them fly in large too. groups? Did it gulp? If, yeah. if you've seen them oh. fly in large nice. groups, yeah. squadron is is uh, perfect. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it yeah is. but messenger An individual pigeons. pelican gulps, but Messen yeah, a message. Actually, messenger would they pigeons have with their little. Would the Air Force have actually they gotten their their term squadron from the uh, the Pelicans? They would no. Have no, the, squadron is already a military term. Goes term. back to naval times. Or squadron, yeah. Who names them? That's what I want to know. Who gives? Yeah. So who most gets of the these British are people, amazing. probably British people. <laughs> so I I saw a, a video that talked about this. Almost all of these come from a single uh, poem. From Middle English, wow! Really? It's just wow. bizarre. I'll see if um, I can find the so uh, some guy the YouTube wrote video. A poem and he went through and just named them all. Yeah. Just actually, be... actually, it was a woman. Goodbye, Night Vincent. 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 Night Vincent. Night Vincent. Night Vincent. Was it a woman? Vincent. I don't remember the gender publish. of the of the author. Also, I'm I'm heading out. Also. Take care, Sprout. I'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye, Ron. Bye, Ron. Where are you going? Please. Going off to a beautiful downtown Ohio again. Oh, right. you're going to Spring Springtown? Or yeah, we're going to it? we're going to Springfield. Springfield. Yeah. Oh, watch, watch, watch cat. Watch your pets. Watch <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Take your barbecue sauce. That's yep. so mean. Just you know, so it's so racist. The, those people who are in ha the Haitians in that town, uh, they oh. had Michelle Cinder went there. I was just watching a video. She's from Haiti. And, and you know what? I was, driving, NBC. I was driving home from, from work listening to NPR and they had a bomb squirt scare. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They I had a bomb right. threat. Some Trump nut gave them a bomb threat and they had to have a lockdown on the city for hours today they should take that it. is bloody insane Van. and no and just, Trump just, and all just, these hate crimes on just Haitian imagine what's going there. to happen starting november 6th yep and the whole thing yeah, that pisses me off good. so much this poor that that town and then it's they're so and then, racist do you think that they would be talking about white people no, eating people's pets, unless they're what, white women who had babies. Why would were... why would white people do that? <laughs> but they but they went and they did this special in 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 the town with this reporter who's Haitian, and she went and she talked to white people who are anti-immigrant and gave them a platform too and said, "See, now there's some people who think this." I was like, "What the hell." Don't talk to those. I mean, if it just felt so slanted, it was just like people like, well, well they're the saying Haitian... there's no evidence of any of this being true. And it's like, you need to get in there and say, this is fucking nuts. This is well, not even I, 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 Well, in NPR, they None did of this. Like, well, they actually did true. have a, 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 a Haitian <laughs> there in Ohio who said, we know that pets are Americans' families. We do not do this yes and she was so articulate and so clear and she uh, the way that she said she said we know that in america your pets are your family they are not animals they to you they are family you know, to eat. it's like uh, there, there is an old an old story about when the circus came to town there was a bunch of foreigners in the circus and all the stray cats and dogs disappeared in some town. But that's very old. It was from like the 70s or something And it's like just that. a saying anyway. And it, and it was just a one-time thing that the people were aware of some dogs disappeared and they came everybody. To the circus. But I, they, I don't know if they've approved it or just talking, you know? It also could just be a damn urban legend, you know? Yeah, that's what I think Those it is. Things happen all the time. Or they could have been using the animals for the circus um, animals. <laughs> 
Even the mm-hmm. lines. This is yeah. the idiot who says that women have abortions after they give birth. Well, f- oh, but I, yeah, yeah, yeah but nobody's me. killing women for for him having said that on a debate. Yeah. But somebody is out there giving, you know, bomb threats. I hope they find him and, and take the person in Ohio. Well, they need I to just take don't all the people and at, lock them up. Uh, what, Lee? I said to Dan Quayle when he made a few, you know, misstatements. Oh, misspelled I mean, potato. potato. Oh. I know. They, they ripped him up one side, down the other, made him public ridicule. And yet Trump can just sit there and say anything, and they just ignore it. Yes. Well, didn't somebody today um, in the House of Representatives or something ask for a mental competency test to be done on? I think it's going it's Did not you required see? by the Constitution. All you have to do is be a native-born American over 35 years old. I but mean, it's competent. insane. The but just think of the dumbing run for president. Think of the dumbing down, though, of mm-hmm. the U.S. All for the per- I think all for the purpose of marketing to people very efficiently, right? But we've got people in the habit of only reading so many characters. Have you tried to send like a reasoned email to a group of people you're working with? So many people, especially um, of a certain age, they just don't digest it. They don't take it in. They won't read it. And they're very annoyed by anything that's longer than a certain amount. Oh yeah. Too long. Didn't read. Young people don't even read emails. They only text. And Mm -hmm. they're offended by punctuation. Offended <laughs> by punctuation, cat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> which what was it? Lee started to say something about um, something go high right now. God, it's horrible. Well, you we'll see you guys. I'm glad I'm ten thousand miles away. Okay. <laughs> Amy, thank you for thank you for telling me about cooking eggs in my air fryer. Anytime I had that, that was egg revolutionary egg. for me. Oh, you tried thank- that? And how did they oh, yeah. go? Oh, it's fabulous. It's nine it works, the time. works great. So what makes it so much better than they don't break when they boil or oh, anything so like that? It's so easy. Yeah, you're talking about boiling it or something else. I had soft boiled eggs for breakfast. It takes eight minutes. It comes out perfect. I don't no I water, haven't got nothing. stuff timed down. I have the hard boiled eggs timed down because I make hard hard boiled eggs. I sent I sent James home last night with oh they were flats big flats maybe six by six four of them. Mm. Try a soft boiled egg experiment. It's actually very very good. Mm. Cut down the time. Do that I I have so many eggs sitting on my counter. Yeah, try I, experiment. I dump six dozen in the garbage because the food bank quit taking mine. What? Why? Why? The food bank won't take mine because USDA finally contacted them and had them have all kinds of restrictions. They wanted to come inspect my my mm-hmm. chickens. So I've been giving them to James because they use mm. a lot. I, I take him to Jane when I go see Jane. How long are you going to be gone for? Um, we have an appointment in Billings on Monday, and then we I have medical tests on the twenty seventh. And you know, between Billings and home, it's not that much further to go through Yellowstone. Mm. You got it all planned out. So good. I, I, that's why I've been pouring over the maps of Idaho and Montana and Wyoming. That's so cool. I'm glad you're just going to do a road trip. That'll be fun. Well, we we have to do banking business, but once we get it done, I have places I want yeah. to see. If All right, you guys, I'm going to call it a night. Now, remember, we're going to try to meet again on Saturday if you guys can make it. Have fun. All right. Okay, guys. Good night. Have a good day. Great to see you. Thanks for being hanging out. We didn't have a bonus yeah. round, or did I miss something? No, we did a bonus round. That was the no, last. I, I, I didn't realize it was bonus. <laughs> three regular. I know it was kind of a different. What was the no, final was score? I missed it. Huh? What was the final score? I missed it. Oh, it was. Uh, here we, we lost. Start. 
Yeah, I know we lost. <laughs> oh, uh, it was. Uh, we have a concept for a plan. Is I can there... watch the video. Don't worry about it. Okay. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye.